Yeah, welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IP Advanced WAF or ASM. In the first section of this video, we will explore F5 Advanced WAF lab topology, which will be used throughout the course. And we need four lessons to prepare all components of the lab topology. And for the first lesson, we will configure DVWA or DAM intentionally vulnerable web application using for security testing during the course. This is the topology we will use in the course and F5 advanced WAF device with LTM and advanced WAF modules sits between internet and corporate data center. There are two vulnerable web application servers, PHP Hack It Yourself Auction and DVWA or DAM vulnerable web application, which we publish with F5 LTM module and secure with F5 advanced WAF security module. There is also a client that tries to attack different parts of the web applications, which provides a motivation to secure that part of the web application. In the client, we will use MITM proxy as a web debugging and interception tool that we use to analyze and manipulate web traffic. More specifically, F5 has three interfaces in the management inside and outside zones with the IP addresses, as you can see, 192, 168, 1, 191, 10, 1, and 2, 191. We create two virtual servers with the IP addresses 2, 111, and 2, 112 with the name PHP Auction and DVWA to publish web applications. These virtual servers act as a proxy for these two IP addresses 10.150 and 123 vulnerable web applications in data center. The configuration of laboratory topology is divided into four sections. In this and in the next section, we will configure and prepare vulnerable web applications. First, DVWA and then hack it yourself PHP auction in the next lesson. Then we will prepare F5 advanced WAF module with initial configuration and finally learn how to analyze and intercept web traffic using MITM proxy. DVWA or DAM vulnerable web application is a PHP MySQL web application that is intentionally designed to be vulnerable. It serves as a training tool for security professionals, allowing them to practice and improve their skills in identifying and exploiting common web vulnerabilities in a controlled environment. We will use F5 Advanced WAF to secure various application vulnerabilities throughout the course. There are different methods to install DVWA, including ZAMP on Windows, on the Docker, on Kali Linux, and VirtualBox, and also, especially for me, installation, automated installation script. We will use the prepared installation script on Kali Linux to set up DVWA in this course. To install Kali Linux, I downloaded the ISO version of Kali Linux from Kali official website. I didn't use a prepared virtual machine because there are no OVF file for VMware ES6i server, but there are virtual machines for VMware Workstation, VirtualBox, Hyper-V, and Kemo, and because of that, I've used ISO image, the latest version, 2024 for installing Kali Linux. I'm not going to show how to install Kali Linux just for your information. I use a short YouTube video training to install Kali Linux on VMware ES6i. Then I installed SSH server on Kali Linux so that I can connect via SSH to copy and paste commands more easily. Just with the command app install OpenSSH server and then 
starting the service now i'm able to connect through the console and also through ssh which helped me to copy and paste the comments as i have said there are different methods to install dvwa some of them can be time consuming and complex therefore i decided to use a prepared installation script to install dvwa in this method according to dvwa official github website all you need to do uh, to download the script using wget command and then make it executable using chmod command and then running the script with your sudo privilege now let's start to install dvwa together first i'm logging as a normal user in kali linux and this is my home folder now it is downloaded then let's change the permission to make it executable and then we will run the script with sudo privilege it needs the sudo command After installation, you can connect to the web server using Kali Linux local IP address and DVWA at the end with default username admin and default password password. You see, it can be time consuming and complex to install and run all of these components yourself but this script help us to make it quick it needs the sql user and password i will use root as the username and enter that means no password just for a test environment now it is installed and you can connect to dvwa with the username admin and password password the ip address of dvwa at the moment and with the username admin and then password but I will change the IP address of the web application according to the topology. At the moment, I want to have access without using advanced WAF. When you first connect, you will see possible errors with DVWA web application installation. Here it says that make sure that these two flags allow URL if open and allow url include or enable we will use a php.ini configuration file to make sure that these two flags are enabled so in the folder var www html dvwa and then php.ini we see that these two flags are already enabled allow url f open and allow url include so we don't need to do anything at the end of the page there is a button create reset database we use this button after we have installed dvwa or if we want to start with a fresh database or if you want to restart the exercises and clear all previous progress we click on this button because we have just installed the application to create the database and now database is created we will log in again 
We do username admin and password. Password. Now, as you can see, new menu options are available in web application. In the menu, DVWA security, you have the option to change the security level of the web application from low to impossible which determines the difficulty of exploiting vulnerabilities for our purposes we mostly use low security level options so that we can protect every web application vulnerabilities through f5 advanced WAF module and then submit now the application is ready just have to change the ip address of the application according to the topology that i will do it later but you can also change it through the gui here you can change edit connections and then change and here i'm allowed to change the ip address of kali linux